Happy Easter Wednesday. You know, it's been about a year since uh, I started these daily reflections, and it's been over a year now since we've been uh, putting our Mass on YouTube, and I'm grateful for your comments, grateful even for your gratitude that um, we've been able to do this and touch so many lives in a very difficult time when so many people felt homebound and not able to get out and certainly not able to come to church. Your comments show me how important the Eucharist is to you and how important the Mass is to you. In fact, you're just echoing the message of today's Gospel. Now, last Thursday on Holy Thursday, we commemorated the first Mass, the Last Supper. And just 72 hours later, after the Last Supper, today's Gospel takes place. I call it the Second Mass. It takes place on Easter Sunday evening. Two disciples are walking to a little town called Emmaus. And Jesus joins them as they were discussing the whirlwind of events. Now, they didn't recognize that the stranger walking with them was Jesus. But long story short, they get to Emmaus. It's getting dark. And they invite the stranger, who is Jesus, to come into their house and stay with them. And it was there at the table that the stranger took bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. And with that, their eyes were opened. They recognized that that stranger was Jesus. He was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. And this shows us how important the Eucharist is, how important the Mass is. In the Triduum, the three most holy days of the year, begins with the first Mass and ends with the second Mass. The passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus are like books on a bookshelf with one bookend here with the Eucharist and another bookend here with the Eucharist. A key verse in the Gospel today is when the disciples say to Jesus, Stay with us. And that is how we've been feeling this last year, don't you think? And even today, we're asking Jesus to stay with us. And in the Eucharist, Jesus accepts our invitation, and he stays with us. In fact, he stays within us. It's really heartening for me to see more and more people come back to church. We're still observing common sense protocols. But if you still can't quite make it yet, please join us on YouTube. And let's keep praying for each other. And be grateful that the Lord accepts our invitation to come stay with us. May Almighty God bless you and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful Wednesday.